The Art Deco by the Sea exhibition was generated by Ghislaine Wood of the Sainsbury Centre. It's a very wide-ranging exhibition. It looks at how the Art Deco style was taken up by the burgeoning new resorts at the coast. There was a strong element of Art Deco that came from France, and it, it took its name retrospectively from the exposition of Art Décoratif in, in Paris in 1925. But it wasn't a name that was ever used at the time. It was the modern style or the streamlined style. You have kind of angular detailing, jagged flashes, as it were, as decoration. It employs quite strong areas of flat colour. And it was absolutely ideal for uh, Seaside because it was very exuberant and light-hearted, partly in reaction to the rigours of the First World War. People wanted to enjoy themselves, and at the same time, the coastal resorts were expanding. Railways themselves were expanding, taking people to the coast, and they were promoting coastal resorts, and in some cases, even building hotels. People had paid holidays towards the end of the period. Women had more freedom in their clothes. So we have a lovely picture, belongs to the Lang Art Gallery, of hiking where the, the women are out in their shorts with their map in this healthy outdoor activity. And we've got bathing costumes in a lovely display, figures who appear to be diving in or standing in the waves. Evening wear, very glamorous. The exhibition, as you see it at the lane, we've had to adapt it, still keeping the spirit of the exhibition and introducing things from the northeast. The northeast has its own coastal resorts at Whitley Bay and along the coast. London and Northeast Railway was a, a very big participant in the railway boom of this period. One of the things we've put in is the North East Coast Exhibition of 1929. And that was a fascinating, huge exhibition. It was set up to help to regenerate industry in the area. Opened by the Prince of Wales, four million people visited. So a lot of buildings were put up in Art Deco style. We've got paintings by Eric Baron Dawson, and they're of the hoppings, and they're really rather nice because they show people in the costumes, people seem to have rather dressed up to go to the fairground. We've also got Edward Wadsworth, a surrealist influence painting, marine set, and we do have these decorative arts of Mailing, Salby and Davidson's. It's a really striking display. The colours of the exhibition have worked really well. The sets, which have been adapted from those at the Sainsbury Centre, they look great. We were going to have it in the summer, that seemed very serendipitous, but Covid intervened. Now we've got it in the winter. It's an uplifting exhibition. It's a happy exhibition for the winter months.